Hey guys, welcome back to the Rim. Uh, episode 11? Episode 11. Yeah, definitely episode 11. Alright, what do we got? We got some visitors. Let's see who it is. This is one girl. Uh, she's peddling her flake, apparently. We are not interested in any of that. Thank you very much. Can we just check your bio real quick? I always like doing this. Body pure is trigger happy. Uh, 28 year old glitter world surgeon. Child spy. That's a great combo. Child spy adds shooting five, intellectual minus three. You think the opposite, really. Intellectual should have gone up with being a spy. You gotta be pretty smart, not stupid. Glitter World Surgeon adds Artistic 5, Medical 3, Social 1. Glitter World Surgeon is a not a like if you were starting out as a pawn, that's not a terrible trait to have. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go see what everybody's doing. Getting our new Frigitator up and running. It is filthy. We need the extra storage. We are just cranking out the crops. Um, indoor grow zones. Outdoor grow zones. It's actually fall. Nobody's replanting. Uh, which is good. And we still have a phenomenal amount of food. I haven't seen a fine meal cranked out in a while. I think with the amount of colonists that we have that we're just, uh, this is supposed to be capped at 300. Right, we've got way too many fine meals. Ah, I'm not sure which lasts longer. I'm pretty sure that rice lasts longer as actual rice than it does as a rice meal. I'm almost 95% positive that's the thing. So maybe I should be turning all of this, all these crops into meals. Maybe I should cut back on the simple meals being made and just store more vegetables. Because th there's way more food than these guys can eat. And I, I'm still curious why we haven't had any uh, lavish meals cranked out. So it goes, <clears throat> how I have these two stoves up here are set to vegetable only simple meals I think I've got these two stoves here set for vegetable and meat simple meals that might be a terrible way to go um, so the, f the fine meals you have to have a meat product included in that if you go slowly through this I have deselected a bunch of weird meats that I'm pretty certain increases your chances of gut worms. This could just be a paranoid uh, observation by me, but I don't know. That's what I think. And once you actually take out the stomach of your colonist and add a uh, bionic gut, uh, you could get rid of that whole um, gut parasite thing altogether. Gut worms. Oof, terrible, terrible thing. Lots of puking, lots of starvation, very, very slow colonist. You do not want that, so. Uh, yeah, this should be paused when satisfied, for show. Yeah, you want really good cooks making your lavish meals because it's very wasteful to begin with, so. They won't be wasting any. Shows Is it a hitman thing? I mean, I don't know the food sickness percentage odds, but if a meal is less than 50% hit points, I'm not sure if you're going to get sick, but maybe it's not counting it. Where is that? Actually, sometimes when you roll this back, 
it'll show you the count of, that you actually have and you say don't currently have 46 see it doesn't know we have 200 push that all the way to there that's very strange is it the stockpile radius Let's push the stockpile radius up so it hits the other one. It still says we have 46. It still says we have 46. Maximum still says we have 46. Very strange. If you guys got any comments on, you know, why I actually have 234 meals, fine meals, and this is actually still saying we only have 46. Uh, let me know, please. Ow. But I always put lavish meals third, just to make sure we've got simple meals, and you can already see that we're going over simple meals too, way too many. You currently have 481, oh, pause one satisfying. That might help. <clears throat> Yeah, pause it there. That's great. Details. Pause on set of slide. Yes, please. Drop on floor. Yes, please. Drop on floor does not matter. These guys are so ravenous. You know, when you get God, 40 plus colonists, uh, these guys just swoop by and scoop up meals wherever the heck they land. Just make sure these are. Yeah, maybe this is it. Pause when satisfied. I want really good cooks making these. Fix this one. Please pause when satisfied. Thank you very much. So these cooks maybe now will pause this. Let me go check those other. Uh, let's go through them one more time in the fine meal details. Pause when satisfied. Cool. Lavish meal. Pause when satisfied. Cool. Well, the next one, fine meal. Pause when satisfied. Sure. Lavish meal. Uh, please pause when satisfied. Thank you. Over here. Uh, I don't know what this. Oh, it is paused. So it's showing me that it is paused on this stove. Because that's there. So let's go details. Pause when satisfied. Yes. So as soon, maybe now that they hit the 100 mark, they'll stop making fine meals and start moving on to the next thing in the queue, which is the lavish meals. Let's see if that helps. Did they actually do it? Yeah, drop on floor. Okay, cool. Lavish meals, puzzle satisfied. It's, very it's tough to cover all these. I wish it was a copy all stove setting and then you can pass on the in the stove. Tie it up here, <clears throat> Sylvester. Uh, let's just double check these. It's, it's okay, actually. I have a spit filter now on the microphone. So, uh, so, so some of these aren't. Let's see. Uh, package survival's meals. We're still very, very short on these two. Which is kind of scary. 80 is good. Um... I don't want just random survival meals all over the fridge, so I tried to keep them all in one zone. Take the best stock. Pop. Pause when satisfied. Yes, please. Any worker, you need at least an eight to do these. It's actually terrible to get sick people on the road. So I know we have at least eight colonists that have a cooking skill above twelve. Tell me if I'm wrong. You know, later on. Um, we don't want any food poisoning on the road. That's why you gotta keep your kitchens clean. Good chef's cooking. So, I think we went through... I think we went through all of these. No, I didn't. What's going on here? Pause on sensor. Look everywhere. Best one. Yeah. Oh. Alright, maybe we'll start seeing some lavish meals pop up, and if they do, uh, not in this fridge, but in 
this fridge, they'll start popping up in here. I hope. Yeah, lavish meal should start popping up in here. I kept it off of the main path so that they actually have to path farther away to it, which will encourage them if they don't really need it to maybe grab a simple or a, um, a fine meal when they come back home. And keeping the zones right near the doors, I think, tries to stop dirt from piling up. I don't know. These places just get filthy anyways. So, a 20-bed hospital for a 45-plus colonist seems to be holding okay until we probably get, like, a traumatic, terrible event. But I... I'm managing to quench those up until now. This is good. These doors keep all this sealed off, so if this room gets to a thousand degrees, it will come in here and uh, cook the barn. I hope. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? You okay? Who beat you up? Oh, the lynx beat up the wolf. And the lynx died too. Oh, you guys had a terrible fight. Oh, what did he die first? 3.56. Hey, Reagan. I, I was trying to do some forensics. Interesting. Nobody wins in that game. We are going to take that turkey. Ooh. We got more Ibex down in Meow. Thanks for the burgers. Ooh, more Ibex. You know what? This is almost so sweet. I might want to just send the team out real quick and take care of that war. I think this is the team to do it. It looks like Kid's already on his way to hunt. Miles is melee. Jet is... Got an assault rifle, I think. I think these kids can do it. Let's just do that. Yeah, we got a five. Let's bring him down here. Get rid of some war. We'll find out real quick if we got anybody that's melee in this group. That's good. A lot of long rangers though, but uh, Jet, where are you going? Jess? Oh, you're hunting him too. Get over here. Karina? Yeah, that's good. You guys are all thinking alike. Over here, we're gonna knock out a ward, ward first. Get ready, because this ain't funny. Nailed it. That's a tough gazelle. That's a good cleaning. Ooh. Guys, let's roll out. Do all the hunting for everybody. Hunt, chef, get in here. Should I kill that rabbit? I know. I'm after bigger game. Because I have a lot more meat. Uh, he's got a hunt icon on him, so even if we don't finish him right now, somebody else will come out and get him. But James, you just join the fray. Oh boy. This close of range, if they turn on us, there's quite a lot. Pretty low odds, I think, with the well, They don't normally. Cleaned up, don't worry, they're not suffering. Somebody will come out. And oh, James. Puking on the battlefield. Not cool. Oh, got worms. 
Apparently, gut worms brings vomit to vomit of James four times in a row. It's gonna happen. Sorry, James. We'll get you a bionic stomach soon. We've got our best top men on it right now. Top. Oh, bulk goods trader. We need them. Yes, please. It's a trade ship. We're gonna have to get him on the walkie talkie. Hurry up! Call Novuni Securities, please. Yes, please. We've got a lot of goods to sell. Here they are, the bulk goods. That's good. Oh, man. I forgot. We still had a rooster in the mix. We're going to get rid of these little um, boy chickens. They're better to sell than they are to slaughter. They don't give very much meat, so let's grab our 60 bucks. Space bucks for those. Labradors, no spank you. These guys multiply worse than rabbits. They're good for hauling and rescue, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of the dogs. Alpacas, nope. Pemmican, we'll keep what we got. Chocolate, I'll take those seven. Never hurt. Simple meals we're fine with. Fine meals we're fine with. These packaged survival meals, we really need more. Okay. Yeah. Labrador meat, I actually have that turned off. The only Labrador meat, lab Labrador meat that comes into the colony tur gets turned into kibble, so the colonists don't eat this, so I'm not even going to buy it. Lynx meat, sure. Raccoon meat, again, that's kibble meat. I've got anything raccoon sized and smaller turned off for the colonists. Everything else turns into kibble. Fridge space is critical. It's, you could turn all of this into simple meals. And I said that you know, some of these lower animals give you an increased chance of gut worms, and yet half my colony's got gut worms anyways, and we've restricted this. So I don't know if my theory is true. Bad. No, that's good corn, good corn, good corn. 81, 81, 81. Berries. They might need their vitamin C. Neutromine. Yoink! I'll take all that. Thank you. It's crazy expensive for a advanced component. We'll take the two seasons and build it ourselves. Excuse me. Cloth, we don't need. Not only do we not need any of that, I'm going to sell off about 300 of that. Mega Sloth Quill, we're going to sell off about 400 of that. This is a fantastic fabric. Or whatever they call it. Leather. I'm gonna hire blunt. Maybe once you stitch it into something, the blunt value goes up, but you know, the insulation hot, cold, and sharp, and I thought bullet protection was just about the best on Mega Sloth. I, I mean, those values change all the time. So we're still giving this guy two grand. Uh, we're gonna take that back with. You know what? I'll sell you 2,000 Muffalo Wolves. Yeah, I'll take your money. Thank you very much. Synthread, we got a good amount. I like turning this into like specialty products, like a, a like a chair or a really cool hat for one individual. I hear the cowboy hat gives you a uh, social bonus. Maybe we'll put that on our, you know, our social people. Tell them to have a restriction. I'm gonna look into that probably in a little bit. Bird skin, we get rid of all these weird leathers. No, thank you. But look at the price. The so from the blue fur to the panther fur, the value goes up really quite a bit. Wolf skin. I'm not sure between the protection values. Uh, 93, 24. Was that panther? Oh wow, wolf skin is better than panther. The same price though. Well, I guess it depends what you're looking for. Huh. 
armor against temperature related damage like burns. 150. This is wolf skin. This is interesting. Somebody needs to look at this stuff. Ah, that's 152. 9324. I already forgot what the other ones were. 9324. Uh, Little bit better sharp. That's all. Same price. A little bit better sharp. Either way, we're not worried about it. Get rid of that. Rhino leather and thrombo fur. We're keeping. Make some really gorgeous specialty items with those. These are some of your higher end products here. 208.36. Still 150 with the, the heat. But the insulation, 61.39. Oof. That's some quality fur. That's actually incredible. 208. Let's see, Rhino. 129. Thrombo fur. Man, I'm telling you. Try to tame some of those thrombos, and I think you comb it off of them like every two days, and you're going to be sitting pretty. That is like the best thing ever. Make some chairs out of that. All your clothes, your pants, your shirts. Mm. Gotta catch us some thrombos. What, what else? Loose from No thanks. We won't be doing that playthrough this time. One day, I would really like to experiment with a colony with this. Just pause it real quick. You can see what uh, Luciferum does to you. Seno bueno. Steel. It only shows 580, but that's near the trade beacons. So I'm positive we have way more than that. Can't do that from here, but. Steel. No beer. Sure, you got three. I'll take them. Crappy, crappy Devil Strand shirts. Our Devil Strand farms are doing great. It's one of my favorite fabrics. I mean, other than thrombo fur. Uh, it's weird. The sharp isn't great. What was I? Like it, it, it tricks me into thinking that. Devil Strand is the way to go. Like, it's supposed to be a thick, heavy, doesn't catch fire kind of material. After taking a look at some of those other furs, I'm really second guessing that. I have to do some research into that. Nope, I don't want your dusters. I don't want any of that. None of that. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. You can't have any of mine. sitting around. These have been sitting around probably for like 10 years. They prefer that flak jacket over a parka. Even in the cold. I haven't seen any uh, hypothermia events though, so those flak jackets must be pretty pretty damn warm. Uh, I think that adds 25 Fahrenheit to their already comfortable I got some gold. I think we want that gold. Yeah, they got plenty of cash. Gold. Sunlap new. We'll keep our mega sloth beds. Plat steel pentium. Interesting, but no. Oh, we still have to set up that hyperweave animal bed. It's blue, so it kind of looks like a medical bed, so maybe I can like target animals to Maybe try to sleep in that to get fixed up. Oh, yeah. This also all looks good. Go ahead. Who do we have? Lorena. Could you haul some of that? Where did that trade take place? Oh! It was with a orbital trade beacon. So, everything's, everything's going to be great. Okay. Start hauling anyway. Who's puking? Oh, Lorena. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What, as soon as I tell you to do something, you throw up? Typical. Oh, these guys are all resting because of gut worms. As soon as we get some stomachs. 
instant cure for gut worms is a bionic stomach replacement. Immediately. Got a bionic leg. Two bionic legs. Spine. I need some stomachs. These are pain stoppers and joy wires. We got heart, lung, heart, kidney. After replacing all of their hearts with bionic hearts, uh, I sold off most of their hearts. There's really no need for organic hearts anymore unless you have a purist. Look at all this devil strand. Look at that. Look at the devil strand. That's ah, weird. 140 here for sharp. 36 blunt heat, 300. Okay, so they are fireproof. I don't know what I was looking at before. Oh, here's the rest of it. You know what? I'm tired of stuff being left out in the cold. And I picked the wrong color. So get up. Miles. Get up. Mark. Get up. Kit. We're doing hauling. You guys. Hammer, you can snooze. Let's get these worthless bears going. Come on, Yogi. Wandering. Go pick up some stuff. Doors. This can actually hold open. So inside now. Very strange corridor here. I don't know if you noticed, but if you zoom in here, we've got a four-way. This is fridge to fridge and opening to opening. The inside corridor should be a, like a vapor lock um, without any heat loss due to the connection here and here and the spaces between here and here. We just hover over it. If anybody wants to actually look at it, you can see something. Uh, tougher racing. 51, take an average, 32, 30, 20, and the fridge freezing, 0, and the fridge 7, and here, 50, 46, 45 to 55, to 62. Outside, inside. Well, Phoebe Chillax, even up in the most difficult settings, she's not giving me a hard time right now. Um, this is good. This is called a, a base builder story mode. mode. Uh, this is really good for people that are just starting out on RimWorld. Learn to love Phoebe Chillax and, uh, you know, take it easy on yourself. Don't get frustrated right off the bat. This game has got a huge learning curve. It's a great story generator. If you really want to, like, get into, like, each individual pawn story with social, like, chef right here. His dad was Arthur Hayden. He died. Oh, he's got, he's got a brother. He's in the different faction, the Wyoming. Wyoming. He's got another brother in Wyoming. Oh, his poor aunt died. And he's got a bunch of ex-wives and ex-lover. He's been a busy man, Chef. He's ooh, 80 years old. Well, that explains it. He's got a grand aunt, some friends. These are his friends. They're all in hopefully our colony. Yeah, so our colony doesn't show anything. Oh, his grand aunt. They work for actually two different factions and they live there. And then, uh, sadly, any disfigurement will give you the, like this really terrible opinion for these pawns. So, Chef hates Lorena because she's got a really annoying voice. So if she had a busted up nose or a really annoying voice, oh, these pawns just... Just hate them. There's really no... I mean, even if this was like negative 100, the worst case scenario is maybe they'll get into a fist fight every... I don't know. What is it? Quadrum or whatever. Two or three quadrums. 
But, um, looks like business as usual in the colony, and uh, I think I'm going to wrap this one up there. Um, this is really just a test to make sure that the PC audio again and the microphone are pairing properly and all the volumes are tolerable. So, uh, if I can find any of these... Stop recording. Right there. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. And uh, stay tuned. I think really, really soon we are going to start a brandy new RimWorld colony from scratch. Vanilla playthrough. All right, see you next episode. Okay, bye.